Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So if you are a business owner and using the Touch and Go e-wallet as one of your payment methods, you're going to be interested in this product. Or maybe those uh, tech geeks, you might be interested in this product as well just because of how niche this product is. Uh, but of course, it caters more towards uh, business owners. Yeah, like, like myself, I do own a business and yeah, I'm one of the very few to actually be able to get my hands on this product right here which is the touch and go sound box so i'll be unboxing this product as well as giving you a tour around it so uh i'm not sure whether i can show you guys the setup process because i'm actually using my phone to record this video but anyways let's quickly go through what comes with the package so in a very nice bubble wrap package you get the sound box itself on the left and then it comes with another qr code with the board right here you can see as well as uh, instruction manual on how to actually get started, you know, using this product. So let's go through uh, what is all this about. So right here we get this Touch and Go e-wallet sound box. So uh, initially when I first saw it uh, on one of the Google News feed, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty interesting. And they only have limited units, I believe 500 of these. So I actually went straight on the e-wallet app and actually just purchased one. So they do have two variants of uh, this sound box. Uh, basically it's the same thing just that one comes with a sim card package which includes one year of data so this sound box does have a sim card slot and i'll be showing you guys later so they have another one without the contract something like the one i have right here so this one still has a sim card slot but it doesn't come with a sim card so it's up to you whether you want to add the sim card to actually make this sort of like wireless you know but it does have wi-fi inbuilt in the speaker so yeah you're not going to be losing out especially if your office already has wi-fi you can actually connect this speaker to your wi-fi network and yeah as simple as that so every uh speaker of course has their unique qr code so the qr code actually locks the speaker to your merchant account so that's basically that's what it does okay so let's uh just quickly run through the user guide so this is a very nice user guide in fact uh Something coming from uh, Touch and Go. I think this is really, really good. You can see how to connect your Touch and Go e wallet sound box. So, basically, this is using Wi Fi, using your IP address. So, you have to follow the IP address right here. So, they have also the SIM card mode. You can pause this and read it for yourself. So, yeah. So, basically, it's a pretty interesting product, actually. That's the reason why I decided to buy it and actually just give it a try. Uh, yeah, probably is going to get annoying, especially for some people if you're in an office environment. But if you're doing something like, um, how to say, like a hawker business or maybe a retail business, this would be perfect. But if you're using this speaker in a quiet environment, yeah, this might not be ideal. Well, depends on you. So that's your personal preference. But for me, I think, yeah, this is good because I'm not always around in the office. And this one can actually just announce the payment so that to make sure that the payment actually went through so it's a pretty good feature so i do not have to keep on checking my phone okay so this is how you verify so so this is your business qr code which is actually in the e-wallet app so you have to you go into the e-wallet app and actually scan the code to activate so the qr code is behind the speaker if i'm not mistaken of course yes it comes with an additional e-wallet qr code so the interesting thing is right here so we're going to peel this off Let's see whether we can do this without damaging okay so all right so it's my very first time actually seeing uh, this product for myself ah uh, but we will go through this together how do i get this open okay we have a smaller box inside this bigger box okay i guess just for shipping protection okay okay so this is the box let me open this box quickly and then just show you guys what comes in the package so of course you get the speaker itself and then let me see what else we get here let me see if i can take this out okay let's take this tray out we get a usb-c to usb-a cable so yeah pretty up to date with the usb-c cable so yeah let's go through the speaker real quick so this is the speaker Touch and go e-wallet on the side. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you guys the QR code. But anyways, this is what it is. I believe this is a very small screen. Let's try to power this on. 
Okay, the speaker is powered on, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a it's an LCD. It's a very small LCD here, right? Welcome here. to Touch and Go eWallet sound box. Oh Wi-Fi connecting. Please wait. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off for now and just go through the Thank you. Is it off? Yeah, it's basically off. It says thank you instead of powering off. But anyways, okay, let's look at the top of this speaker box right here. So you get an LED notification light to show you where this all so i guess battery low should be shown by this indicator right here you get this sort of reset button is it a reset button or connect button i believe it's a connect button i've never read through the instruction manual yet because my first time uh, anyway we have this button right here which i will check that out later and then we have uh, plus and minus i guess for the volume and then we have the power on button which i just demonstrated to you on the is this the back I guess this is the front. This is where you will actually put the this card right here with the QR code, I believe. Let me see. Uh, okay, yeah. Basically that. I'm not going to uh, force anything in right now. But yeah, just basically that's where it goes. So yeah, you get a very nice stand for your QR code. Very nice. Very well thought of actually. Uh, I do like the color scheme. It's very touch and go color scheme. The white, the blue, and the yellow really really nice okay let's see on the I don't know, on the left or right side both left and right side basically you get the touch and go e-wallet okay on the bottom i'm not going to show you the qr code but here we get obviously four rubber stoppers okay this is very interesting you see this slot here is very well thought off so i do like the attention to detail of course you get this um, nano sim card slot so this is where your data plan actually goes in and then you get this very small slit right here so i believe yes this is the USB-C charging cable uh, input so you can actually just plug it the cable in and actually run the wire here so it's really really uh, well thought of I, I do like the design of course the feet stops the speaker from moving around very very nice what else do I have to talk about okay this is should be the front uh, no, this should be the back yes this should be the back because that, that one faces the customer yeah so this is where you get the speaker itself and this a uh, very nice screen yeah so this actually displays the amount that's actually been transferred to your car i believe yeah so basically that's it for the hardware side of things okay so let me just uh, fiddle around with it for a moment and then i'll be right back all right guys so i realized i can't connect this to my wi-fi network is because i do want to connect this to my office wi-fi network because this is going to be used in my office but anyways let's just go through the button uh, features so of course you do have the power button so press to turn device on and off so basically that is what uh, i did just now so okay you can also press to announce the battery percentage which is similar to what like you know if you have used sony speakers before it's similar to what that does and okay the volume down button so obviously is to decrease the volume but it also when you press and hold it actually ends the network pairing so yeah this uh, some hardware controls right here okay volume up is the opposite so increase volume obviously and then when you hold on it you can actually switch between your data plan and wi-fi so yeah let, let's just try this out because i'm interested to actually see whether it speaks out give me a moment to start welcome to touch and go e-wallet sound box Wi-Fi connecting. Please wait. Okay, let's try to actually hold this and see whether it switches to 4G and does it show us or tell us anything. Mobile network mode. Yeah, you can see it changes to the SIM card slot. And if I hold it again, let's see what it does. Is it doing anything? What does it do? Let me hold it again and see what. Wi-Fi mode. Ah, this wi is Wi-Fi mode. Yeah. Please wait. Yeah, so it changes from Wi-Fi to 4G mode. So it's very interesting. Let me see what the display actually shows. So if you increase. Oh, it gets pretty loud actually. Okay, let's put it at like, let's see what's the max volume. Seven is the max. Oh, it's actually pretty loud. For seven steps, it's pretty loud. Okay, let's see if I put on 5. Let's hold this and see how loud it gets. Mobile network mode. 
Okay, so it doesn't show you whether it's on mobile network mode or Wi-Fi mode, but yeah, it just shows you numbers on the screen. So let's try that again. Wi-Fi mode. Okay, so Wi-Fi basically, connecting. Please yeah. Wait. Okay, so that's basically what it does. Okay, so this repeat button. Okay, this is the one I was trying to figure out just now. So basically, according to instructions, is that you press and you repeat Load the transaction record. Yeah, so when you press it, it actually reads out the previous transaction just in case you missed out on that transaction. Let me show you guys again. So I press it once. No transaction record. Okay, so this is not connected and it's never been like, you know, I never had a transaction before. So it shows that it's no transaction. And if it's on Wi-Fi mode, you press and hold to start Wi-Fi network pairing. So it's hotspot network pairing. So let's try and hold and see. Hotspot configure mode. Oh yeah, pretty cool. So it actually pairs to your hotspot. Let's hold it again to actually stop it, I guess. Hotspot configure mode. No, it doesn't. It just goes one way. So yeah, basically these are the features of this. I wish I could actually show you a transaction, but yeah, maybe in a follow-up video or maybe on my TikTok, I'll actually show you guys uh, how this thing works when you actually make a transaction. So honestly, this product... It is a very, very niche product, especially when it comes to something like touch and go related, which means that it's more for merchants. Actually, it's only for merchants. Uh, you actually have to purchase this through the merchant uh, online uh, store, I should say. Yeah, so uh, this has been a really quick unboxing, I should say. Of course, I did do some details on the buttons and stuff like that, but I will show you guys more on this. Uh, if you want me to do that, just uh, hit me up in the comments down below. All right, so... I hope you guys like this very quick uh, sort of unboxing and walkthrough of the sound box from Touch and Go. So I'm honestly pretty interested to try this out. Of course, yeah, it's a very short term thing because it basically just does one job. It just reads out the transaction. So yeah. But anyways, this is really, really convenient, especially for people who run something like a hawker store business or maybe retail business. You will never miss a transaction with this. Uh, especially if you have to keep on checking your device that is yeah there's something you do at the end of every day you want to look through your transaction but on the spot when a customer actually makes a transaction you do want to hear it and see it for yourself the amount that's been transferred and yeah you can hear it from the sound box and you can see it from the display right here so it's honestly it's a very cool product in my opinion because i'm a tech geek do let me know what you guys want to see me do with this speaker you want me to show you guys how to make transactions how to pair the app and stuff like that I will definitely do a separate video on that one. But anyways, that's all for this video. Hope you guys like it. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.